Patrick, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. We're talking about the digitization of the supply chain. So say you are a chemical company, you want to digitize your supply chain. Where do you start? Start with the basics. So tracking and tracing. What's the status of your shipment? Where is it? That's where I would start. Then once you've done that, uh, have a look at EDI or um, API messaging. Uh, that allows you to take status across uh, from your suppliers and use it for yourself. And how can a logistics service provider help you in, uh, in this journey? If you haven't made the investment yet for digital supply chain management, then use your LSPs, your logistics service providers. They've already made the investment, allow them to give you uh, data, um, whether it's across their website or via EDI API. Let them do that. Now, the only thing is, that when they do that, they usually specialize in one part of your supply chain. So you're still trying to collate that feed in order to make informed decisions. There are providers who are able to bring that all together for you, um, cut down the amount of work that you're doing, give you more transparency. You may have to use two or three of those in order to create that transparency end to end. And finally, if we uh, look at the current situation we have in Europe right now, we have a war in Ukraine, which has triggered higher energy prices, which in turn has triggered higher production prices for a lot of companies, also in the chemical sector. How can a logistics service provider help in, in this situation? Yeah, let's take the example of uh, polymer manufacturers or traders. Um, in addition to the problems that you've just highlighted there with production costs, you've also got low prices in the market because the demand has dropped away. How do you move in that? Well, you need flexibility. So you may want to switch supply point. You may want to switch destination, where you sell your product, or you may want to pause your inventory. Just think of a, uh, of a remote control for your TV, for instance. So you can fast forward, you can pause, you can rewind, or you can change channel, for instance, change modality. So that's really where a logistics service provider with that scope of service can actually help you in the market. The key point is, despite all those problems in the market that we're seeing at the moment, you're able to take market share. Thank you so much for joining me today, Patrick. Thank you.